Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit different and if you can't tell from what I'm sitting in it's going to have to do with a kayak. Recently my wife bought us some kayaks, the two are the same each. They're very basic models though. So what I wanted to do in a series of videos is bring you some of the things that you're able to do to improve your very basic kayak or potentially add on to your existing kayak with something that will enhance its ability or make it more suitable for what you would like to do. So today what we're going to do to my kayak to start it off is we're going to be installing some rod holders. Now what you're going to need to be able to do this is obviously the rod holders themselves, a drill, some hole saws, just very cheap ones will do because you're only drilling through the plastic of your kayak. Some silicon and a silicon gun. And last but not least, a pop rivet gun uh, or potentially a screwdriver, just depending on what you use to affix the rod holder to your kayak. Now just something you have to be aware of when you are purchasing the rod holders for your kayak is there are a couple of different types that you can get. This is one that's designed for a kayak. Now if you look down through the rod holding section you will see that it is a complete sealed unit. Now this is what you need to get. This on the other hand is a different type that is usually used on boats and it has a drain point through the bottom. The reason you need a fully sealed rod holder is because this piece will be going into the sealed compartment of your kayak. So obviously you need to keep the compartment sealed so that you don't take on water within your kayak. So the first thing we're going to do is drill a hole into the kayak using a 50mm hole saw. Luckily on my kayak it already has an area that is designed for the rod holder. But if you don't have a pre-designed area like this on your kayak, just check the depth of your rod holder and make sure that wherever you're going to place it within the body of your kayak, that it will reach down on the angle that it's designed to use without hitting the base of your kayak. suggest is once you have a circular hole down in you'll find that your rod holder will fit directly up and down in it but they're not designed to sit straight up and down they're designed to sit on an angle to hold your rod at the correct angle now what you'll find is it won't sit over on that angle correctly so work out which way you want your rod holder to go to hold your rod correctly And use your hole saw and place it in on about a 45 degree angle. And you'll slightly elongate that hole and then you'll find that your rod holder will go in and sit the way that you want it to sit so that you get the correct angle for your rod. Now included in my rod holder kit there were three what looked like stainless bolts with no nuts which is a little odd. Uh, if they were screws they'd be a bit more practical you could probably screw them down to the top of your kayak but I think I'm going to use the pop rivets just because they give a good tight seal uh, less likely of the chance of it pulling out. So with the rod holder now in place where you want it, you can either use a pen and mark out the three points that you're going to have to drill, or just drill them out. So now just before we secure it in place, we're going to place some silicon on it just on the surface of your kayak 
just around these few seals that they already have on here that are supposed to do the job, but I'd prefer to be 100% sure that I'm not going to get any leak in here if I tip my kayak over or if there's splashing on it for prolonged periods. pop rivet in. Once that last pop rivet is in place you may notice some silicon that's come out the sides. It's just best to clean that up now. You can trim it off when it's dry. And there we have it. One fully installed rod holder.